Good morning, Manas. Uh, earlier we had discussed about receiving. Under receiving, we said, we talked about how the procedure of receiving, we looked at the things that we look at when we are receiving, and also looked at the mid type, we looked at the blind receiving. Now, I want us to look at document used in catering industry or document used in catering cycle. The first document that we have is the purchase requisition. Immediately after you have done your menu planning, you are supposed to, have to write a requisition from the food order list. Now from the food order list is where we get the purchase requisition. A purchase requisition, it contains a list of ingredients with their quantities that are needed to be bought. We have a purchase order. Now, after writing the purchase requisition, a purchase order is developed by this, uh, the receiving of the store man who um, prepares the purchase order. And the purchase order, it remains one copy, another one copy goes to the accounts department, and the other copy goes to the supplier. We have a delivery note. Before any item is delivered in the store, it should be accompanied by the delivery note. You should not receive anything without a delivery note. We have good received note book. This is where this is a document after the, the goods have been received where they are recorded. Material return note. In material return note, for example, if you have ordered for something and that was that has been brought is not of good quality of good standard or does not match with the purchase with the standard purchase specification that's why we have the material return note you can write the material return note um, give them returning it and explaining the reason that's why you don't need that material now material transfer note in material transfer notes is another document this is where you have excess if it is for example in food and beverage in the beverage we might be needing wine and we don't we do not request for it but we go to the beverage department we request for a beverage so they need to write a material transfer note to be for the food and beverage for food department to be to be accredited for so this is a material transfer note we don't give it and how it has to be accompanied by a document. We have a bin card, it's another document. This is highly asked in the next exam, so you need to know how to draw the bin cards. Invoices, after the goods have been delivered and the supplier is there, you, the supplier needs to have an invoice showing how much is it, how much the supplier owes has. The last document that is request for a credit. Uh, a credit, we define what is a credit note. A credit note is a form usually printed in red sent by the supplier to customer when goods have been returned or are devices to clients setting out allowances meant. Now, why do you need to write a credit note, request for a credit note? This is a written by buyer to supplier if orders is found not equal to the quantity in delivery note or goods returned, it should be signed by the delivery man. Now, that is a request for a credit note. If the goods that we had ordered are not in satisfactory, nor, for example, you write a credit note if the goods that we are delivered were overcharged, we also give if there is refunds on the deposit on packaging containers because some items will come with containers, so they need. You, you need to return these containers. So, if you need your money to be refunded after you are returning the uh, the containers, you are supposed to write a credit note. Another one, good for some reasons, are refunded to supply are returned to supplier. Maybe the damage or an item is omitted. If an item was not included or the damage, you have to write a credit note. You don't return them without a note. So that is why we write a credit note. That is a question commonly asked. Now those are the documents. In our notes that I've given in, uh, in our hotel, there are, there are diagrams showing these different types of documents. So you should be able 
to draw them clearly and explain them clearly. Now, in inspecting commodities, because we have received the items, now we need to invest in inspect them now the first thing that we do when we're inspecting these commodities we are supposed to weigh when you weigh everything that is brought in the restaurant there is weighing and counting you don't receive without weighing you have to record the details you also look at the quantity if you had requested for 500 grams of sugar you have to weigh and know that is the quantity that you had requested for another thing you look at the quality in the quality, when we are talking about the quality, you look against the standard purchase specification. And we are drawn higher as standard purchase specification. So you need to look at the quality. Stamping. In the stamping, it comes when there is beaver uh, meat. Meat before it is sold, it has to be stamped to show it is, it is not harmful to human consumption. So the meat has to be stamped by an authorized doctor. Now, there is treatment of beverages and damaged goods. Now, in this case, if the owner or the management discovers that the storekeeper is careless, the storekeeper will be responsible for all the beverage damage and the goods which are damaged. But if there are clear records showing this document got expired, they were damaged in, uh, the, it is not um, fault of the storekeeper. They are written in a book where the beverages are written and the, the management are the one in charge of throwing or disposing of the unwanted goods or damaged. In our next class, we look at storing.